All right, so a few debunks I want to talk about as far as hip hop, because there has to be some bit of strands with this one. So I'm going to try my best to make sure that this uh, comes out as clean and concise as possible, at least. Please keep in mind that I'm not exactly good at this. So don't expect too much from me. Now, although I will say that there will be some changes to the hip hop agenda because due to the new paths of every single new rapper that comes out, um, this path will have to be a Got bit a different here. because there's gonna be a lot of changes. Reason being is because of the lack and the lackluster the of load. lyricism and the traditional path being changed. So no. now, that the talent is going to be a bit better, a bit of a change, but that doesn't mean it's going to be completely erased from hip hop forever. Because of the genre, there are going to be a little bit of a change to the go tier conversation, but I will say, as far as this is concerned, there's going to be a lot of changes to that once uh, we start making a new change this year and that is literally making sure that one that the tradition that is made stays the same because one thing for damn sure we're not changing that part but for the new generational part of rap there has to be a bit of change where rapping and singing can still be a thing and be part of Hip hop, because otherwise it's just not going to be a case where if rapping and singing is going to be a part of it, then the vocabulary oh, needs to, to be the up sunlight once more. and pretty much at least substantial to the point where you're actually willing to try and make a legacy for yourself. Because some of them are just really Time's doing up. it for the money Go kill some and not able to keep themselves in a legacy, so... Yeah, it's kind of difficult to have these uh, discussions whenever these happen, because otherwise I'm just going to have a huge issue. Who is this mysterious now, marksman? However it will look like it, the generation will not care. I will say this, this generation will not care. However... There will be a huge change to almost everything, no matter what the consequences oh, are anyway, yeah. so... They're not gonna like it regardless. Now, I will say this. The kids will grow out of anything. So, I think it's safe to say, don't listen to them. But for any older, older fan of an artist, please understand that no matter what the consequences, you need to grow the fuck up. And the reason I say this is because this has been consistent with y'all, where you're having constant, constant debates about the fact that one is better than the other, and they don't show any talent. So as a result, I am saying this right here, right now. Do not bullshit me when you decide to ask me to review this person, and you get a fucking reaction out of me by me saying, they're not good enough. Please do not get upset when I say that, okay? Simple as that. That's all I'm asking, okay? Final choices, people. Enemies so, um, I think that kind of sums up some of the debunks, but, um, there's one more debunk I want to also mention as well, is that if you're going to literally try to make sure that the hip-hop, um, category stays, there needs to be a change where Time's if you're going up. to separate every Beat. single category, there has to be at least a category where traditional hip hop has to be substantial. And what I mean by traditional hip hop, I mean by, security. oh yeah, making a legacy for yourself, proving yourself that you're actually better. There will be some debunks this year that kind of reflects on how hip hop acts to a certain degree, especially with the new generation coming in and um, evolutionizing their opinions on 
what hip hop is trying to portray. And that's gonna be new for everything. Now, I will say there will be some changes here and there and it will probably like be substantial to the others. However, I will say this right now and I'll say this right here to the last stand. If anyone tries to like disagree on that, I, I have no problem with you disagreeing. Go ahead. But if you give me a dumb reason on why hip hop should literally have some of these uh, debunks, you and I are having a serious discussion. To a certain degree. I wouldn't say it's a bad one, though. Ugh. I'm still kind of questioning that part a little bit. Still not understanding that. Because there are some changes that can be made, but still. If you're just gonna sit there and assume that something like that is just bound to happen, I highly doubt that when you're doing so much in the hip hop industry that you're going to literally assume that, oh, just because of a big status, they're going to like be the best comedian. I feel like that became officially not really the best case. I'm at this point. By your the reason I say that is because nowadays I feel like if you're going to make that assumption that type of debunk needs back. to change. Don't That's just me though. I feel like if you're going to have a discussion like that obviously some debunks need to change. Um, so I'll say this with a grain of salt. We're almost out of time. Um, make your choices. I honestly think, in my opinion, there's going to be changes to the hip-hop um, media. However, there has to be a change Medic within Hell yeah. this particular Hurry up. scenario are getting closer. where it needs to change the course of action of where hip-hop is going. Maybe later we could build a snow One, hip-hop is ending because of that debunk. And that's kind of the main reason why I think that if you're going to have this discussion, there has to be changes. Always remember that there will be changes. 